Hey guys, it's your boy Clutchy Munchies here, and in today's video, I will show off my solo strategy for beating the Duraiz and Draka boss fight each time. Anyways, guys, let's get into the video. So, before you enter the boss fight, what you're going to need for the strategy will be for perks is Jug, Quick Revive, Double Top, and Mule Kick. Now, for the guns, you're going to want to get the Pack a Punched Dingo or BRM, the Pack a Punched Haymaker or Brecky, and the Stormbow. I definitely recommend you guys get aftertaste because if you go down, you're pretty damn screwed. Also make sure to have a fresh zombie shield in case you get suppressed from behind if you know what I mean. So now guys, if you got all which I listed, you're ready to do the boss fight. So once you get into the boss fight, just ignore all these skeletons because they really don't matter too much. Just try to avoid them. Once the keeper reveals the energy attack thing, use your Ragnaroks and trap the keeper. Now what you want to do is use a Stormbow on the ground to protect yourself and then proceed to take out the dingo or the BRM and destroy the crap out of the keeper. You will do so much damage that you won't have to refill your Ragnaroks and you will immediately be brought to the first panzer stage. Now the way how you should fight the panzers obviously should be by using the shotguns but if you want to keep the skeletons off of you so you can get close enough to the panzers this will be fine because you will get a max ammo after this step. Now you're on stage 2. Just keep replicating what I showed you, use the Sturmbow to cover yourself, and you will be fine to use the BRM or the Dingo against the Keeper and destroy it once more. Once again, Panzers come, and just do what I said earlier, and you'll be fine. Just make sure you're far enough away from them, because they are OP. If you completed the second Panzer round, then congrats, you don't have to face them ever again. Just do the Sturmbow and LMG tactic for the third wave, and bam, you're done the boss fight. So guys, I really hope this strategy has helped you out and it was worth your time. Feel free to give me some feedback as well. Please subscribe if you would like because it helps the channel grow. And anyways guys, peace out.